All right. So I obviously I'm going to mean this point in a very comedic manner. But basically, I I don't understand uh I don't understand the whole homophobia thing in general. And I mean, I've been called I've, I've been called the F word. You know, actually a couple times in my life and I'm I'm not even gay. I'm actually a, I'm a straight dude. I'm pretty pretty stereotypical when it comes to my sexuality, but uh I don't think any of that stuff is anybody's business anyway. So it, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, the one time I was at a, I was at a bar, and my hair was like a little bit longer at the time, and I actually put the top up like it was kind of like a, like a ponytail thing. So, you know, later in the night it's like getting to be whatever, you know, twelve one o'clock when all the when all the uh, the assholes start coming out, you know, and everybody's getting kind of drunk or whatever at the bar. And I hear this dude just go, I think he's talking to someone else, but he's referring to me. And he says this a couple of times because I didn't even like really acknowledge him the first time. Or it was like one of those like barely hear him things. He's like, yeah, like this like F word with the ponytail. And I'm just like, eh. I'm just like kind of like looking at the TV. I'm like, oh, do they have these like, soccer guys have ponytails or something? Kind of like in my head, but I'm like, oh, yeah, well, I have a ponytail. He was talking to me, whatever. So yeah, he says it again. I'm like, dude, are you like, are you like talking to me? Like, I don't understand. Like... <laughs> And this is like unbelievable. Like he's clearly drunk. It's just like, dude, I don't know. Am I a pussy? Because it's it's like I'm not gonna get in like a fist fight with some like trashy dude calling me the f word or whatever. You know, uh, the one that rhymes with maggot. You know, and I'm not even gonna dignify it by saying I'm not even gay either. I'm not even gonna respond that way. So it's kind of like I'm sort of just sitting there like, all right, dude. Like I'm gonna shrug this off because. You know what am I gonna do? And as a guy, it's like, as a guy, you don't when you don't like react to something like this, where it's just like you have disrespected me. You know what I mean? Like whatever. It kind of is one of those things you sort of ruminate about. And I have a little bit. And it's just like, man, should I have stepped up to this guy in the bar? You know, should I have gotten like a fist fight with some like little short drunk guy? Whatever. Because I mean, whatever, dude. The dude looked like nothing really. I mean, like some dude with like a polo on, like whatever. He looked like solid three, four inches shorter than me. And it's just like, whatever, I'm going to let it go. Not, not that there's anything wrong with being short. It's just kind of like, yo, I can get on your case about, you know, any number of things if you want to, you know, point out some stupid superficial thing. Like, like the way I'm wearing my hair, you have a problem with. And the point is, the point I'm ultimately trying to make, and I mean this, especially since I did a video about, like, gender fluidity and everything. The thing I don't get about it is to... to Call somebody gay and be like in a hateful way to be homophobic and say the F word to somebody based on something like just something stupid like maybe the way they're dressed or like their hair. It seems like a, a very st stereotypically feminine thing to comment on. And I don't, and this is what I mean by it. it's kind of a, a comical point. I don't mean this like 100%. Uh, the way I'm saying it's obviously. Just in society, it's like, what I'm saying, in society, at least, uh, you know, stereotypically, it's, it's like caring about someone's appearance, like their outfit and their hair. You know, you even see this in like movies where it's like, let's do each other's hair. and da, da, da. It's, it's typically like a woman thing to do. So that's the thing I don't get about like homophobia with like really superficial observations with somebody because in a way it's like, you're you're hating on someone because you're perceiving them to be gay but then at the same time you are stereotypically acting feminine or gay you know what i mean by commenting on or hating on somebody for their whatever the way they do their hair that's the thing like what if i think why would i care what it what a dude's hair looks like you know i'm not trying to have sex with that dude i'm not i'm gonna go hit on that dude why would i care what his hair why would i give a shit what his hair looks like or what shirt he's wearing or whatever. Because I've been ran, uh, not this exact thing, but I've ran into this in the past where I, I went through like a punk phase too. I mean, I had a mohawk for a time, probably for about a, a year or so. And at that time I wore like skinnier pants. I remember even being in like OSU, I was visiting my brother way back in the day, like years ago, years and years ago now. And you know, some dude, of course, like sarcastically, I'm like, I ended up, I'm just like, thanks. But sarcastically, he's like, hey, nice pants. I'm just like, yeah, thanks, dude. Like, why do you even give a shit what I'm wearing? You know? 
So it's kind of like weird. It's like, do you want to go on the, uh, I don't know, that new hit show, like Fashion Police or whatever, or Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, or you know what I mean? So I, I just don't get why a dude would care what another dude's wearing or what his hair looks like. That seems like really weird and like kind of like hypocritical in a way for what you're criticizing. Like you're kind of like, in a way, and I mean this in a comical sense again, and I'm not being 100% serious, but it's like you are being the thing you're like hating on somebody for, in a sense. But that said, have I ever commented on people's, and I even, that's the thing too, I've even admitted, I, I think I'm a feminine guy in general. Maybe, maybe that's why people keep getting mixed up, you know? Because I've been called that, that term twice, and it's a hateful term, you know? I can even, not even, I'm not even, uh, I'm not even gay, and I, I feel the hate when people say that, and it's like, I, I can't even imagine what some people go through, honestly. So I have the utmost respect for people who, like, get through their lives you know, with, I guess, not the normal, not like the cis white males, whatever, straight male, you know, uh, sexuality or, or gender that they go by. I, you know, I have nothing but respect for people who can make it through the, whatever, the, the bullying, basically, by other, by other people in society. But, um, you know, I've even admitted I'm a kind of a feminine dude. I've, I've commented on people's appearances before. I'll totally admit I've commented on people's appearance. I've, in a sense, but it's always been very, uh, very uh, was, uh, reactive, I guess. If so, if somebody comes at me, if I'm in the right kind of mindset, if somebody really like irritates me and they're they're coming at me like unnecessary, whatever, you're just trying to like fuck with me, you're just trying to shit on me. I've I've literally I've called people like be like you're fat, you know. I've said uh, things about people's facial hair. I've said things about people's. I think I've said things about people. Yeah, I've said something about somebody's facial hair before. Guy being a total dick to me, you know. Uh, someone else, whatever. I just be like, if there's anything wrong whatsoever, like I'll try to find some kind of chink in your armor, you know, like where. Yeah. So, yeah. Am I a hypocrite? Not really, because what I'm saying is. It's like, hey, if somebody attacks you, whatever, if you're going to be reactive, sling shit, you know what I mean? Sling mud any way you can, really. But for somebody to just be like, you know, I'm sitting at a like a bar and I'm not really hurting anybody. I'm just trying to get like a drink. I'm just keeping myself, really. I, I just don't understand the hate, especially when somebody doesn't even know. That's the thing. They don't even know you. They don't know what you're all about. And then to comment on something like really weird, like superficial, like your hairstyle, I, I feel like that's, it's like really hypocritical. And, and again, I always tend to circular, whatever, circular logic, re reiterating the same point again. I just, I, I just find that so comical. I, I don't understand. I've never really heard this observation before. Maybe, maybe someone's made it before. I don't know. Maybe co like some comic or something, but it's just really weird. It's really weird because like you're hating on somebody for like, you know, being gay, but then you're kind of like being gay by commenting on their, their hair, you know, or they're like, their pretty dress, you know, it's kind of weird to be a guy and to be like the stere the stereotypical like good old boy like guy who's gonna like try to shit on the you know the f words or the gays or whatever, and then to comment on their you know their outfit, isn't that kind of weird? I don't know. So uh, that's my observation. I I don't know if I worded everything right. I know this is a touchy subject too, even talking about stuff like this, but. Um, who knows? What are your thoughts and comments? The whatever, the eight viewers maybe that I would get on this video. What are your thoughts and comments? All right. And we got a part two to the video. And this is actually just going to explain why um, I, as, as a straight male, and, and this, is, this is a point, really, human psychology, I feel like it is a selfish point. It, it's like... It's a selfish point that I'm making, but why I actually like gay people, because this is the thing, say, and I've noticed this, um, it, it could be completely stereotypical. I, I know it's not every single case, obviously, talking about like stereotyping people, it's very touchy. But if I'm, if I'm out at a party or whatever, at a bar or anything, as, as a straight male, I actually like when there's gay dudes there. Um, because usually, not all the time, obviously, they'll, they'll have, you know, girlfriends who are, like, sometimes pretty cute. So there's, like, there's more girls at the place you're going, like at the party or wherever. So now there's more girls. And then that gay dude is 
realistically, most likely not going to be hitting on any of the girls that you want to hit on. Say you're single, you know, you're looking, you're looking for a relationship, you're looking for a fling, whatever it is. So basically the more gay dudes are at a place, I, I always feel like the more likely women are going to be there. And then the ratio of dudes there that are going to hit on the girl that you want is actually now lower. So even in the most selfish sense that I could, and I am a selfish person, I'm an egocentric, selfish person. And at like a very, a, a strict logistics standpoint, I feel like I like, I like being around gay people for that, actually that very selfish reason. I mean, if it wasn't for that, I would be like, I don't, I don't give a shit what you do on your free time really at all, to be honest. It literally means not, it doesn't matter to me at all, but I'm just saying, this is the reason why I actually like, and it is, it's selfish, it's selfish, but it is the reason why I actually like when, when, uh, gay dudes are around. So I always feel like it kind of gives me a slight advantage, actually. That's what another thing that I find it's so odd about homophobia is it's so, it's so weird and like, it's so backwards when, when it comes to like the things, like your goals, when you think about it, a human being's goals when they're out and doing anything, like if you're like a single guy out, it'd be, it's so weird to me to think like, like you're going to hate on somebody for their sexual orientation when they're not going to, you're going to hate on somebody for not going for the girl you want. It's, that's so odd to me. I don't know. But yeah, that's just a quick part too, I guess. So in, in a selfish sense, that's kind of why I actually... I mean, I don't mind any sex, sexuality at all, regardless, but in a selfish sense, why I actually like, you know, gay people. So, there's that.